protein is probably gonna take up a good majority part of your calories, right? So you gotta make sure you're finding the right protein. Because I know a lot of guys that are trying to buy the right proteins, but they end up buying the fatty ones, and then it's so hard to burn fat, right? Because you're eating so much extra calories. The staple of lean proteins will always be chicken breasts. I think by now we've all seen a Mike Chang video and I think we can all agree that his overall goal is to uh, inspire people to be fit and healthy and that, and that really is a great thing. He is the most subscribed to fitness channel on YouTube so it's really important that he is giving good nutritional advice. When it comes to getting lean, if you want to keep your calories down, this is probably the way to go. After going through his channel, we were really let down to see that there's a, a lot of incorrect information. Most of the claims that he was making had little to no research. You gotta make sure you create the aftermarket effect so you're constantly burning more calories. So it doesn't matter if you eat a little extra, you always have more burning than eating. We found a lot of his information just really confusing from his pre-workout to after-workout, afterburn, his magical red drink, his magical pills, his snacks, his cheat meals, his cheat days, have 200 calories here, have your big meal at this time, have your small meal at this time, worry about your calories here, cut calories, I mean, Mike, what's going on here? I'm very confused here. As you guys get a lot of advice on dieting, it can become really confusing. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to buy lean proteins to get ripped. Now let's look at the lean meats, which ones to look for, or which ones to eat to get lean and ripped. Ground beef. So there's a whole bunch of different types of ground beef, but what you wanna look for though is, this is probably the easiest meat to be able to tell whether it's healthy or not for you. Cottage cheese. A lot of people don't realize that cottage cheese is really good for protein. The worst part about all of this, he promotes a high animal protein diet. He recommends a lot of chicken, lean beef, and dairy, like cottage cheese, and all these have carcinogens and GMOs and hormones in them. Even beef inside skirt, I think they use this a lot for uh, fajitas and stuff. You go to Mexican restaurants, they cook this up, slice it up, really good. Even though you see a little bit of fat here on the side, I mean on the top, but I can see the inside and it's on the side right here, and there's not that much fat and stuff like this. Really, really good. And when he starts recommending lean proteins, he really doesn't know what he's talking about here because this beef skirt that he's recommending is 49% fat. That is like, it's just terrible for you, right? If, unless you want to buy straight up fat, then buy that one. I'll probably one of the top ground beefs you can get, 96% lean, 4% fat. He also recommends a lean protein. It says 95% lean, 5% fat. It, it is still actually 33% fat. It doesn't sound very lean to me, Jay. So here's more of the fajita section. Chicken breasts, well with chicken, you just have chicken breasts. Those are the best. You still have chicken thighs, drumsticks, wings. And Mike's lean chicken breast tenders, they, they were still 54% fat. 54%? 54%. <laughs> A lot of people don't realize that cottage cheese is really good for protein. One of the last things he recommends is cheese and eggs. Now that cottage cheese is still 39% fat. And this is animal protein at the end of the day, so it's tossed to the body and it's gonna decalcify you. A really good way of protein source because eggs is, you can eat whole eggs and there is fat in whole eggs, generally about eight grams of fat, give or take per egg, but eggs also have Good proteins. Eggs for healthy lean protein? Come on, Mike, that egg is full of cholesterol and 63% fat. That is like, it's just terrible for you, right? If, unless you want to buy straight up fat, then buy that one. In no way are these weight loss or get ripped foods. He's got this all wrong. He's making out carbs to be the enemy when carbs are actually your main source of clean fuel. So when you're dieting, your calories are dropping down, right? Because if you don't drop your calories down, you're not gonna be able to lose any weight. You're not gonna be able to lose any fat. So you can call it whatever you want, but all it really is, is tricking your body and telling your body, yo, I'm not, remember, lean protein every single meal. Stop eating carbs and eat some fat, okay? Literally, cut out your carbs right now. If you guys are watching this video right now and you're about to go eat the carbs, cut out that carb. When you eat the food that Mike's recommending, you're gonna have to calorie restrict. You're not gonna be able to eat when you're hungry. And I find when doing this, all you do is think about food. I mean, it's a complete waste of time and you need to nourish the body when it's hungry. Hey, did I say cut out that carb? Cut out that sugar, cut out that carb. It really doesn't make sense to blame carbs and make them out to be the enemy. Let's think about this. Does carbs make you fat or does eating fat make you fat? It's simple if you look at it from an unbiased standpoint, and that's why we're making this video today. We really want to clear the air because we really and genuinely want to see you guys look and feel your best. 
If you're looking to get ripped, the vegan lifestyle is where it's at. And don't worry, you can get all the protein you need from fruits and vegetables. Guys, check this out. Black beans are 74% carbs, only 3% fat, and 23% protein. Even celery is 73% carbs, only 10% fat, and 17% protein. Spinach, Popeye had it right. L let me tell you, it's 56% carbs, only 14% fat, and 30% protein. Even a banana is 93% carbs, only 6% fat, and still 4% protein in a banana. Hank, I'm noticing a trend here. Low fat and high amount of carbs. This adds a high amount of fat. Don't be fooled that there was only 20%. This whole protein issue is really a myth and has truly become an obsession. Protein is important, but it should not be our main focus. Your main focus, eating lots of vegan food. Because when you're eating lots of vegan food, there's lots of, plenty of protein in there. So if you're eating, if you're eating a lot of food, you're getting enough protein. Now let's just really think about this because I think we, we can all agree that everybody subscribe to Mike Chain is looking for about an 8 to 15% body fat ratio. And then Mike's recommending all these foods that are 30% or more in fat. Did you notice all the foods that we showed you before were all 15% or lower in fat? 15%, that's the exact same body fat ratio that we're looking for. You know, you know what they say, say, you, you are, are what you eat. eat. So you may be asking yourself, where am I going to get all my energy from? Fruit, veggies, rice, and potatoes. Potatoes are 93% carbs, 1% fat, 6% protein. And rice is even 90% carb, 2% fat, 8% protein. Wait, what? Did you guys notice that? 1 and 2% fat. These are literally all you can eat foods, we promise. And you're getting protein just from rice and potatoes. 6% protein in just rice and then all those clean what? carbs for energy? Hello! Everybody just understands low carb, low carb, low carb, but they're still gonna make a huge, huge mistake. We promise if you stick to these foods with minimal working out, you will be shredded and have that six pack abs in no time. We need to look at who we're getting our research from and where we're getting our research from. It's honestly best to do your own research and come up with your own game plan. And the last thing that we want to say is that life is not about shortcuts. I mean, shortcuts never work. I mean, in life, if you take a shortcut at work, take a shortcut in your family life, in your personal life, anywhere in life, it always backfires and it's never the answer. This is why the vegan lifestyle is not a diet. It's not temporary. This is something that we can do forever and be happy about it. And you're saving animals at the same time. If you guys enjoyed this video, pop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel. We're making vegan videos every day. Comment down below. Let us know your favorite workouts or your favorite foods to eat after your workout. Because it's fruits and vegetables for life. It's fruits and vegetables for the win. Prep these meals the right way so you can get super lean and ripped and get six-pack abs.